Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. People all over the world arguing about the correct answer to this challenge. We have 12 divided by 4 and times 3 and one part of people tell that correct answer is 9, another part of people tell that correct answer is 1 and in this video I'm going to fully explain you what is the correct approach, how can we solve this correctly and step by step. Before solving this video I suggest you to pause the video try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is a correct answer? Write your thought about this solution right here in the comment section. It will be really interesting. So there are two approaches. The first approach, I want you to look at it, so right here we have first approach, here's our challenge, we have 12 divided by 4 and times times 3. I want you to understand that doesn't matter what or what expression do you have, you should know about order of operation. And according to the order of operation, division and multiplication have the same precedence. So the correct order is to evaluate from left to right. So first take 12 divided by 4, yeah, so first uh, 12 divided by 4, which is equal to, which is equal equal to 3 and then this multiplication by 3 we still have and it gives us a correct answer is, is 9. It looks like option A. This is the first approach to this question. But I want you to understand that some people have a different interpretation and while it's not the correct answer today, it would have been regarded as the correct answer 100 years ago. So some people may have learned this other interpretation more recently too, but this is not the way calculators would evaluate the expression nowadays. So this is first interpretation and I want you to look at it at this second interpretation. So take a look closely. So we have 12 divided by 4 and times 3. So this is our second interpretation. So suppose it was maybe 90, 70 and you saw this expression in a textbook. What would you think the author was trying to write? Historically the symbol division was used to mean you should divide by the entire entire product on the right of the symbol. So take a look closely. Under that interpretation, so for example if we have 12, uh, 100 years ago people when, when they have this division they divide by the whole expression on the right hand side. So it looks like we divide by the whole expression, so in parentheses we divide by this whole expression. In our case we have multiplication, so 4 times 4 times 3. And right now we know order of operations, so we can easily uh, we can easily evaluate it. We know that parentheses is the first step before division, so we should start from this. We should start from these parentheses. So from this stage, the rest of calculations works by the order of operations. So first we evaluate the multiplication inside the parentheses. So we have 12 divided by 4 times 3 equal to equal to 12, and we have this option. Uh, we have 1, yeah? So, and then we divide this 12 by 12 equal to equal to 1. This gives the result of 1. This is not the correct answer that calculators will evaluate. Rather, it that is what someone might have interpreted the expression according to the older usage. So I want you to understand that this is okay solution, but this is solution maybe like 100 years ago, this is maybe 90, 70 years, and this is like 100 years ago solution, and I want you to understand that this is a okay solution, but it's older usage. This is older usage solution. In, in, in nowadays, calculators, it's not works like that. When you have division, we not divide this by a whole expression on the right hand side. And I want you to explain it by this, by this ex expression. So for example, imagine we have x square, maybe x square y divided by, mm, by x y. Okay? We have something like that. Okay? And right now, here is my question. We divide this x square y by what? by x, by y, by x, y. This is a very interesting moment right now because some students don't understand by what we divide this x square y. If we divide by x, if we divide by y, by if we divide by x times y, let's put brackets, okay? Then with parentheses, okay, we want to divide this by a whole expression, by this entire product, and then is this okay solution. As, as, as right here, okay? But we should write these parentheses. If you want to divide it by, uh, by uh, 12, just put parentheses, then 4 times 3 equals to 12, it is absolutely okay solution, parentheses at first, then division. But right here we don't have parentheses. So if you want if you want to like make this higher priority 4 times 3, just put parentheses, then it will be a correct answer. So this is like an older usage, this is outdated usage. If you don't trust me, you can easily you can easily check in your in your calculator, you can easily check in your scientific or graphing calculator. With parentheses, it gives you it gives you 9. 
but without parentheses. This is like older usage. It's not works like that. The calculators not works like that. It will be it will be a really big mistake from you to solve this question like that. So I hope you understand this this part of solution, this interpretation, which is really important in terms of math because some students think that uh, we divide by the whole entire product. I want you to understand that. We can easily write it in a fraction way, maybe 12. Maybe you want to write this 12 divided by 4, by like a fraction. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's do this. So we have 12. We have 12 divided by 4. Let's write it as a fraction and times 3. Let's write it like that. We have the same 12 divided by 4 equal to, equal to 3 and times 3 equal to 9. So as you can see, doesn't matter. You write it as a fraction, you write it as in a decimal approximation, doesn't matter what you do. You can easily solve this question like that. This is like a new interpretation. A calculator works like that nowadays, so I hope you understand this left-hand side. If you have a question with this right-hand side, here's my explanation, okay? Here's my explanation to your to your thoughts about this older usage. Uh, we should put parentheses then x squared uh, times y divided by a whole entire expression. Just put parentheses. This is a very huge mistake nowadays. Students don't don't put brackets right here. So if you want to divide it by a whole expression by this whole, just put brackets. Then it is absolutely okay. In our case, multiplication and division have uh, the same precedence. So the correct answer is to evaluate. 12 uh, divided by 4 at first, and then multiply. So division and multiplication have the same precedent. And I want to say doesn't matter. You will have like multiplication, division, division, multiplication. The answer is absolutely, absolutely the same. So a correct answer is is 9. But I know some countries work with this uh, with this older usage. It happens, it happens. But uh, our correct answer is is option option A is a correct answer. Here is my interpretation. Right here, calculators not work like that nowadays uh, because historically, yeah, historically the symbol division was used uh, to um, was used to mean you should divide by the entire product. But this is historically nowadays calculators is not works like that. We should know that uh, multiplication division have the same priority from left to right, step by step. We can't write it right here as 4 times 3 at first, because this is very bad, we just go from right to left. If you want to mention that we divided by 12, so 12 divided by 12, you just put brackets, put parentheses, it will be not a mistake, then you, okay, 12 divided by 12 equal to 1. This is option B, yeah? But this is like older usage, let's write right here, older, this is outdated usage, I write it right here, so outdated, outdated usage, so I hope you you understand my thoughts about it. This is like two interpretation. This solution has play take places. It it happens. So sometimes the correct answer is one, sometimes is nine. But this is outdated usage. Calculators works like that. Nowadays, calculators works like that. If you don't trust me, you can easily check it in your scientific or graphing calculator. But don't use your regular calculator because sometimes it happened your calculator, like in telephone, work this problem as you type it in. So just if you want to get 100% correct solution, just use your your regular your scientific or graphing calculator. Just plug in this question, and uh, you will have like your correct answer is nine. So a correct answer to our question is option option A. So here's my explanation to this question. I hope you understand this explanation and uh, of course write your thoughts about it. What do you think about these approaches, about this? Uh, because I think that correct answer is 9 because uh, we just do this in a, in a very in a very correct case because we just go from left to right and right here if you want to get this number one, uh, option 1 we should like put put brackets right here. So I hope you understand my thoughts. It is like a long video, but I hope you understand my thoughts about it. Write your suggestion into the comment section. What do you think about this, about this solution? What do you think is a correct option to this question? Here's my interpretation, two interpretations. This is outdated usage. This is a correct solution to this question. So cal calculators works like that, works like that nowadays. So here's my explanation to this question. I hope you, I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I hope you, I hope you learn something new on my channel. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, if you're struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concepts, subscribe to my channel. I definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventure. And of course, write your thoughts about this question because this is like a viral question, people all over the world arguing about the answer, option A, option B, so this is very like tricky moment right here, so I hope you 
You'll solve this correctly, you understand my explanation, you have your own opinion about it and it will be really interesting to read about it. And if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helped me out now for this particular video and send this video to your friend if you like have problems with them, if you are arguing with the answer, this is like a a solution to this problem so i hope you i hope your friend uh, friend learned something new to this question and i hope you you learn something new as well so thank you for your time have a great day i hope you understand my explanation but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong i hope you learned something new in this video so see you in the next videos have a great day